Welcome back, everyone. Criminal and Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Uh, let's make a let's make a salad for breakfast. Good old salad. That's good enough. Yum yum yum. How's our weight? I need to watch our weight. Ninety four. Wow, when did we get to ninety four? Really, I have not been watching our weight. <laughs> oh, we're always getting fat. It's okay. It doesn't actually bother me that much in the game. So, what are we going to do today? I just kind of want to go zombie killing today. Let's head over to the to the giant arena and see what we can achieve there, which will probably be my death, but um, you know, it's it's the way it is. There are worse things to do than die. Can't imagine this guy is really enjoying his life in uh, the zombie apocalypse. I don't think I would be. Alright, so that's... There's a couple of zombies milling around over here before. There they are. Let's take care of these boys and girls. Somebody has been given an apron. Got a job in the mall. Oh, it's a bunch over here too. Hello. Friendly zombie cleaner. I don't think anybody's gonna have anything useful on them. Let's see what it looks like over by this apartment building. Now with the, where the zombies were spilling out before. Uh, actually seems fine. They must have decided not to wander too far. They all decided to stay home. Hello, zombies. Don't mind me, just passing through. Ooh, there's actually getting to be quite a few people over here. Um, is there anybody running? There's no runners. I don't see any runners. Let's, uh, let's kill some zombies. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> not a great start. <laughs> one of these days, one of these close calls is going to convince me to turn on the the green outline for the um, for the melee kills. As I've said before, I don't actually have a problem with it. I just... It's not on by default, and I've been playing longer than it existed in the game, so... Just kind of used to playing without it. Plus, I feel like the, uh... The, the, the misses... Are, uh, add to the drama. Excuse me. Crawlers slowly coming towards me. You know what? Give me this sword. I need to level the sword up a little bit. Let's do some so some sword work. You get used to the one-hit kills, and then you get get in trouble when they don't fire. Man, that guy didn't want to die. There he 
There it goes. Bike, zombie, where's your bike, boy? Oh, the, the bike zombies are funny because there's no bikes in the game. So it's like, hey, this guy left his bike somewhere. Where did it go? Nobody knows. There's the level up. Unyielding. Police officer? You wearing a vest? No, you're not. You're not a police officer at all. I feel betrayed. Thought you were a police officer. A few more zombies in there. I don't think there's any cars for sale, guys. There's, there's a shortage, haven't you heard? It's chips. Chip shortage. Wasn't it hard to make new cars? Hmm? Oh, we're starting to get a little tired here. Let's cool it. All my wanton swinging back and forth. That's the whole city. That's a this is a high value map. Of course we already have it all mapped in, so it doesn't really matter, but if we didn't, that would have been a high value map. Entire city in one one big swing. here. It's over there. Assuming I still want to go there. Seems kind of dangerous. Maybe we'll drive by and take a look. See how bad it is. It's part of me that wants to see what's in there, but I know logically nothing is the answer. A lot of zombies and loot that maybe, maybe baseballs. Bats. But yeah, logically there's not going to be much of anything in there. Because it's a stadium. Well, what would be in a stadium that you would want after the apocalypse? Some food? Also this giant building next door. Yeah, do I want to stop here or no? I think the answer is no. Seems interesting at first, but it also seems like a death trap. I think a little ways north of here. I I, I wanted another. Um, there's no way out of this parking lot. Okay. Um, never mind. <laughs> I was say a little ways north of here. I think there's a there's a bar. Go around the other way. I do still want another tap for our our little uh, sports bar we're building. What is this? Roxy's roller rink? Huh. OK. 
Okay. You know, it might be worthwhile. Not for um, any actual reason, other than there are sort of sub-goal of trying to find uh, as much money as possible. What is this building? Is this just, it's just apartments, I guess? Would be the, uh, it would be to go head over to the strip club. I think that's the closest, the place we're going to find the most cash money easily accessible is probably going to be the strip club. Have you ever checked that? Have you ever checked this? The, this uh, big box truck. Can't remember. It's looking like it's in pretty good shape. I think I may have checked it before I had the ability to hotwire cars. There's like a little tingle of memory back there. Things, Martridge map. Yep, that's a that's a high quality box, box truck right there. Full gas. Bodywork is almost perfect. Can't wait to destroy this thing. <laughs> Let's put it here. And we'll have to attach the the truck to the back of it so we can tear, take them back, both home stand here for a second and smoke a cigarette it's fine Come on, truck. Come on, truck. You literally only have to drive another, like, 30 feet on your own. Don't bother me till I'm done. Thank you. I believe we're on the back side of the street that I was trying to get to that has the bar on it. I think it's at the other end of the street, though. Still hasn't gotten its second level yet. No, it hasn't. It still says, just says unyielding. That'd be getting pretty close, though. There it is. Unyielding katana of the ninja, which dropped its condition to half. That's always a glitch. It's got something to do about when the durability gets changed. Oops, don't want to go upstairs. My theory, at least, as to how, why that happens is, is that there's a, um, the durability. Antique bar tap, please. Um, if the first trait that it gets is a, is a trait that increases its durability, then the next time it gets a trait that increases its durability, or that, that uh, when it resets it, which it does when it levels up, it resets the things to, uh, to full durability. But I think rather than setting it to full durability, it actually sets it to like 100 hit points, which for most things is full durability. But if it's already had, if it's had its durability, if it's had its like individual hit points raised by the previous thing, 
then when it tries to reset it to full durability, it just raises its hit points to 100, which in case, which if it has 250 hit points, then it's actually lowering it to, you know, I think that's why it went to half health. That's my theory anyways, I don't actually know. I'm not a, I'm not a coder, I'm not a modder. It's been my ability to, my personal ability to figure out how this stuff works. zombies to keep this blue truck pristine for a little bit if possible the truck we're towing is like off center now it's weird and we're home and it ran into the back of me <laughs> separates okay I'm gonna walk all the way around first it's fine no problem. Go. Alright. You know what I want to do? I want to do a quick mall lap. I'm going to do a, 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 a check to make sure we're doing okay in terms of zombies inside the mall. Ideally having none of them. in that store. Be in the hallway. Highest chance of zombies I think is going to be. Also, I want to see, can I take these little things if I, if I wanted to? No. No, oh, I don't like green carpet. But that's just a, it's a trick to make it raised like that. Oh, there's somebody browsing the toys. And there's somebody over there. Hello. Stay back here. No? Tore up all this carpet. Who would do such a thing? Person's a monster. Destroying a nice thing. Alright, so we seem to be mostly mostly zombie free in the mall. Whoops. Didn't even know I could jump over those. Else I would have been more careful. Oh, it's the sunglass hut. So there's still money to be found in the mall. Things that I've missed. I suppose we should do a quick run around. We're doing a run around anyways. Let's do that. Uh, broken glass. As they say, there's always money in the banana stand. Always money in the mall. And then that one. Six money. The magic number is 700. 700 money. Yeah. That's why I think that going to the strip club might be a good idea because I think there's going to be a lot of money lying around the, on the ground in there. If my previous trips in other games told me anything. There. Like maybe I've already done this room. Apparently. Or it's just a very unprofitable business. One of the two. Let's 
Oh, I saw somebody outside. No? No? My imagination. That's the right kind of imagination to have. The kind that makes you go, wait, what? Zombies? I'd rather be worried about there being not ex zombies that don't actually exist than not being worried about zombies that do exist. Funny. These ones I'm pretty sure I've checked already. They're too centrally located and I've done too much in this place. <laughs> pretty much any place where I've been in Oh, maybe not. I was going to say in been in dismantling things like I was doing in here. I was going to say I was pretty sure that we didn't have any money to be found, but clearly that was wrong, judging by that room that we were just in. <laughs> Alright, there's probably still a, a cash register or two, like this one here, lurking around in the mall that I have not touched yet. But, um, we got most of them. We had it got... Gained ourselves like 34 money that we didn't have before. Which of course pales in comparison to the giant pile of uh, gold we have in the other thing. 346 money, that's like basically halfway of our 700 money. But, uh,. Gonna stop here for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. I am, as always, the Crumulant Archer, and I'll see you guys next time.